Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushuhu Tensei episode, um, season 2 episode number 9. Alright, uh, the previous episode, um, uh, stuff happened and which is not good and it's a pretty frustrating situation. Uh, the first good thing that happened in the previous episode was we got to meet Aisha. Mm, Aisha and Lilia are fine, at least Aisha is fine, you know, currently. Um, she is with uh, Rudy. Uh, she went with Rudy, kind of like you know, like Rudy saved her from that whole situation. Um, Eris and Rigid are taking care of her now, so I'm sure she'll be fine. Uh, but Rudy is in trouble. Rudy is in Pax Chirone's castle, and that brat, that spoiled brat, he, I don't know, he he had like you know, he he trapped Rudy to actually get her his hands on Roxy. And he wants to lure Roxy in using Rudy as a bait or whatever. But unfortunately, um, yeah, like I was able to understand that this plan is completely not going to happen. Because uh, after reading the comments, I also myself also did not realize this. But after reading the comments, I was able to understand that Roxy wouldn't even be able to come here. Because she's in the completely opposite part of the world. It's going to take quite a long while for her to come here. So the whole plan in itself that Pax made is going to fail nonetheless. So yeah, this is this is a complete what can I say? Like whatever what, what he wanted to do is never going to come true. And I'm sure someone is going to help Rudy by that time. You know, or Rudy himself will break out of this thing in some way or the other. So yeah, Pax's um <laughs> plan is completely like you know like not going to happen at all and i really want to see him getting punished for the things that he put the shenanigans that he is like you know doing so i really hope he gets punished uh hope he gets exiled or something because you know like that's i think the best punishment for people who are like you know he's like the prince or something so seventh prince so i think the perfect punishment for him will be stripped off all of all of his uh what do you call them titles and whatever and just exile him to i don't know the other place of the world or something <laughs> so yeah like i really want that hopefully something like that happens and yeah i we never get to see him again because he's annoying yeah he's, he's like one annoying character so yeah anyways like i'm talking a bit too much about him that was what was happening and let's see what happens in this episode. Ho hopefully, Regent and Eris realizes what's happening and comes to save Rudy or Rudy himself does something. We'll see. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 9 of Mushku Tensei Season 2. So, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh yeah, we're going to see the Okay, the flashback. All right. Let's see. Oh, they were all at the same place, that means. And I think Lilia kind of grabs hold of Aisha here. Yeah, there you go. Zenith was alone. Okay. So Zenith is alone. Whoa, they got transported in, in the water. Damn, that's scary. Oh my god, thank god she was holding on to her, otherwise... My god. Oh. Damn, like this whole disaster, like after seeing this, we can see how this affected so many people, like people are getting transported in the middle of nowhere and with nothing, like, oh great, wow, ugh. Does Roxy know? Oh yeah, Roxy's not here at that at this time. Oh my god. So this is what happens. Whoa! 
what a nasty kid like i like i really hope he gets like some kind of painful i don't know whatever like you know some kind of divine retribution or something like i i don't know like something i want to see him suffer that's basically it <laughs> yep no food as well. <laughs> yeah, unlike the previous time when he got captured. Yeah. We really need their their help this time. Who is this? Who? Third Prince Zanova. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Oh. Maybe, maybe he wants more of those. Wait, is he like a... Oh my god, I think... I think this guy's... Oh yeah, this guy really wants something like this. He's a... Anime figure enthusiast, I, I guess, like, you know? I think so. Wait, what? What happened to... Was then okay. <coughs> oh, oh, all right, good, good choice. Yeah, he's a figure enthusiast. <laughs> wow, damn, this guy's legit. Oh my... <laughs> wow, Rudy's going to get along well with him. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, Rudy? Wow, Rudy! <laughs> Amazing, Rudy! Amazing, Rudy! Yeah, I'm also impressed! Rudy's like, yeah, he's one of our, our like, not our people. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rudy will be like, how dare you? <laughs> Position of the hands. Hmm. 
Damn, this is some high level. Um... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you sinner. Repent. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you're God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, this is what's happening. <laughs> Damn, this guy's a fellow person of culture, I guess. <laughs> God. <coughs> okay, so he's the third prince. Can he get us out of here? I think so. Damn. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Okay, what is it? <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Okay, I okay, I understand. Like because they said something like he was taking them hostage. Yeah, oh god, this kid. What a nasty <laughs> well <clears throat> why oh yeah i forgot yeah true All right, well, Rigid himself will be enough. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Expel. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine the third prince being Rudy's disciple. <laughs> god. What is even happening? Yeah. Oh, damn. Is it... <laughs> okay, so... Hopefully he'll do some... What? Oh. What? What's happening? Certain ma ma 
Miko, blessed child. <clears throat> what? Okay, yeah, this time Wait Is it is the Miko this guy? Zanova Is he the Miko uh, the blessed child? Oh my god This guy okay Oh my god! Well... Shut up! God. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Here we go! Hmm... Well... Okay! Yes, but okay. If he helps them, his his reputation will go up. That's yeah. That's good. Shut up. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay, let the guy talk. I hope he he's going to Oh my god. Yo, this guy. <sighs> well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, mm, a lot of things are happening at the background, so... <clears throat> Oh wow, that's good. Just everything's okay now. Wait, what happened to Lydia? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. So she kind of. All right. So Ginger knew what's going to happen after this. <laughs> well, at least Lilia and Aisha are okay now. The only one who we let who's left to be found is Zenith. <laughs> Okay, calm down. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> oh 
Oh yeah. Uh... Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God. Okay, hide that. Otherwise, I shall will see. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, oh yeah, Sylphid still left. I forgot about her for a second. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, okay, two people left. Sylphid and um, Zenith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, wow! <laughs> yeah, Rudy's going to save her from Rudy. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, okay. Hmm. Um, I don't think that was the reason why he but you know what? Okay, I'll I'll let it go. <laughs> Rudy, um, okay, well, it's a nice, you know, nice scene, so <clears throat> Okay, so are they going, I think they're going, they're going back to Fitoa, is that what's happening? Oh my god, she knew! <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, when did she realize? Damn, she fooled us all! <laughs> I think when she handed her over that, I think that's when she realized. Wait, when did she realize? Yeah, I think when he handed her that uh, plate, is that the time when she realized? Because Rudy kind of said that, I think. Yeah, I think that's when. Wow, thank you. <clears throat> Wait, why Zanova? Okay, I guess. Um... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, 
Okay, so well, stuff happened, and I guess everything's fine now. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's good. Now, okay, I don't know why they exiled Zanova. Like, what did he do? Like, I guess he kind of went a little bit overboard, but still, like compared to Pax, that's nothing. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> and I feel like we're going to meet Zanova again in the future. <laughs> like, you know, he's like, master. <laughs> Teach me your ways. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> <coughs> wow. So nice. It's, it's good that they uh, resolved this whole situation in one episode. They did not drag this. And like, you know, these type of situations kind of are frustrating, you know, when like, someone is like captured or something and they can't do anything it's kind of frustrating so i'm glad that they got this over with in one episode <clears throat> and everyone is all okay now <clears throat> so two more people left to find uh three if you uh, like you know count galane as well um two more people zenith and um sylph sylph yet Okay, that's the end. All right, so this was episode number nine. <laughs> this, uh, this episode was, <laughs> was hilarious in a way. Um, okay, uh, first of all, we get to see what happened during the mana disaster. Um, Zenith was alone. Um, Paul was holding on to... Uh, what, was, um, what was the name of that... Norn, yeah, I forgot her name for a second. Uh, <clears throat> Paul was holding on to Norn. That's why both of them got transported together. We know what happened to them. Um, and Lilia and Aisha <clears throat> was together. <clears throat> Zenith was alone. Um, I really hope Zenith is okay because... Um, <clears throat> like, she, she is a, a veteran adventurer. She was a veteran adventurer. But I think her main power was healing or something. So like if she's alone, I don't think that will help much, will it? So that's why I'm a little bit concerned. And like we are seeing how these things are going, you know, like someone is getting transported in the middle of nowhere. For example, Aisha and Lilia got transported inside the water. And uh, Paul and uh, Norn were transported in a middle of nowhere, deserted, barren place. So that's kind of concerning because who knows like maybe i don't know like the thing that's actually concerning me is where did zenith get transported to if it was like a normal place with like you know a safe place it would be okay but if he's she's like transported in the middle of like a somewhere where it's dangerous or something like there's many monsters or something that'll be a problem so yeah, but hopefully we get to know in the near future. Uh, I'm sure they'll tell us, but yeah, it'll probably take a little bit time. But anyways, um, <clears throat> we got that little flashback, and we see how Pax also like you know kept uh, them in the castle because he wanted to lure Roxy in. Like dumb kid. Like how the hell will Roxy get notified? Because she's not even here. She's like in the other place of the. Uh, completely opposite uh, part of the world but anyways um, that kind of act helped us to get Lilia and Aisha back so but all right so that was that and then <clears throat> now here's the thing we meet Zenoba here that's his name I think yeah Zenoba he's the third prince isn't it Zanova no it's not Zenoba Zanova Zanova Shirone okay um we meet this guy like from the beginning as he starts talking about the figure i was like okay so this guy is like um, one of those people uh, like you know a f uh, figurine enthusiast if you you know like something like that and i'm i have to say <laughs> i was really impressed with the way rudy made roxy's um figurine like damn like <laughs> Like, 
Yeah, I, I was really impressed, you know, like, the, obviously the, uh, what do you call it, the craftsmanship itself was impressive, but you can even, like, you know, kind of detach it and, like, you know, like, like all the things that they were showing, like, the, the, there were three hands and all the other things, like, you know, like, it was, like, in one pose when it's outside, like, you know, and when you detach it, it's, like, in another pose, and, like, all these things, like, the way Rudy made this, I'm impressed with that. Like, I have to say, damn, like you need dedication to do something like that. <laughs> and, oh my God, I, I, I don't think Ruijer's uh, statue uh, or uh, figurine has that type of uh, functionality, just like how Roxy's is, you know? I doubt that. <laughs> but yeah, like that was really impressive. I have to say, like as, as uh, Zanova was saying stuff, like you know kind of explaining the whole thing i was like damn like rudy like you 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 would have been able to like he could just make a living out of this and just not work for the last rest of his life you know like just be at his house and keep making figurines and just sell them and he'll become uh i don't know like pe people like zanova is definitely going to buy them from for a huge amount of money and he can just like you know <laughs> do that for the rest of his life he wouldn't even have to do anything he'll be like you know he'll be fine he'll make a living out of it but we know rocks rudy wants to change his life that's why you know like he wants to make the best out of this situation because he was given a second chance at life so obviously he's not going to do that this is going to be like a little hobby for him and <clears throat> you know he's just going to keep go doing what he wants to do and you know becoming uh i think like an adventurer or something like that i'm not sure but yeah something like that so okay now <laughs> zanova he says that okay like i want you to uh, like you know i want to be your disciple or whatever and the thing that's funny here is like he's the third prince isn't he yeah so <laughs> Rudy, Rudy is the master of the third prince of the Shironi um, kingdom. Wow, boy, like that's something, I guess. And okay, so Rudy is like, you know what? Um, let me get me out of here, and I'll think about making you my disciple. Otherwise, yeah, nothing can be done. And Pax is like, okay, so I'm uh, not Pax. Sorry, Zanoba is like, okay, so I need to bring Pax here. Is that it? I need to teach him a lesson. Fine, and <laughs> and by that time, you know, Ruiz and Eris there are all like you know making a plan to go and save the hostages that Pax has kept. Ruiz goes there, and Eris is with um, Aisha. Now, okay. Now the biggest surprise in this episode was the whole Miko thing or the blessed child that they said. There are people who are born with some kind of a special power okay um as aisha said the blessed child has an incredible strength since the moment he was born okay that would have been fine but he apparently tore his younger brother's head off at the age of three wait so he killed his brother is that what this is implying when he was three? Oh my god damn this sanova is crazy like i feel like if he's like an ally it's all well and good but if he becomes your enemy that's like a problem like that type of a character uh, well like as i said like you know it's, it's good that we have him as an ally and <laughs> he goes to pax's room grabs his head and <laughs> brings him here uh, not here, but to uh, Rudy, and <clears throat> like, my God, like his grip strength, like intense. Like he just grabs him by the head, and it's like he would have just tore his head out. And like I was feeling really uncomfortable when you know, like when he was kind of twisting his neck. I was like, damn, what the hell? Like, wow. And then. Pax was like, okay, I'll tell you what's like, you know, how to get out of this. And he brings Rudy out of that place. And Rigid is successful with his 
rescue mission Aisha and everyone is uh, not Aisha sorry uh, Lily and everyone is okay okay so one thing that I was able to understand here in the end that Ru Rudy um, explained is Ginger was in on this so she knew that um, like you know he, they needed Rudy's help so they so she actually trans like you know gave the uh, rigid um, figure to um, Zanova because I'm sure Jinja knew that he is very uh, en enthusiastic about these type of things these type of figurines and stuff so she gave it to him and like you know gave him a hint that yeah maybe the person like, you know, if, if you go to the uh, basement maybe you'll be able to find someone who knows where this uh, figurine can be found she gave him hints gave Zanoba hints and Zanoba was like okay so I might be able to get to the person who th made this figurine if I go to the basement he went there he met Rudy and they had like the conversation and you know because like you know they were talking so enthusiastically about the figurine and with the whole thing with the mole and stuff like wow like Rudy damn <laughs> like <laughs> And then, like, you know, he, by that conversation, Zanova was able to realize that, yeah, this, this is the actual person. He's the one who made this. And so Ginger completely kind of manipulated the situation in the background for Rudy to actually end up helping them in this way. And she was successful. Like, this was like a ris risky gamble, I guess, that Ginger took. But it worked out. <clears throat> Yeah, like here's what Rudy says. I guess Ginger was working behind the scenes too. She gave Zanoba the figure so that he would come to see me. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what was happening. And she never said this to Rudy and uh, anything like that. So, yeah, as they say, like, you know, um, uh, what do you call them? Deceive your allies before deceiving your enemy or something. So, <laughs> yeah. And I, I think probably Ginger, like, you know, Ginger also was pretty skeptical about this whole plan that's why she took more precautions as to not letting anyone know that she's doing this behind the scenes so that's why she kind of gave, uh, gave Zanoba little hints did not tell him abruptly like you know what the person who made this figurine is underneath go and talk to him he, she did not give him uh, the full picture she gave him hints so that he himself is able to find it so if by any chance things go completely wrong and the plan fails and hopefully nothing happens to the hostages that's why ginger took this decision she kept this a little like you know this a complete secret and like you know made a gamble and it worked out pretty well so yeah like all well that ends well i guess okay and <laughs> wow like uh zanova really helped this episode like he's like the savior of this episode <clears throat> and okay that was that <coughs> then we get to the next part where uh rudy uh, uh like you know like they're all talking with uh, each other lilia gives rudy the holy relic <laughs> everything's okay with with it and there's this little thing inside which was something that sylph yet wanted to give rudy to his birthday but it wasn't able to be i know uh like she wasn't able to because of the mana disaster i think yeah and okay and then you know like uh lilia kind of talks with rudy and obviously like you know like not getting to um like you know seeing your family members after so long uh like, i think how many like one or two years how many years passed something like that i think one one and a half year or something um, and being in a completely, what do you call it, uh, isolated place with no one there to call her ally. Obviously, she was very, like, you know, she was also concerned about Rudy as well, because technically he's a child, you know. So all that stuff, you know, like they, you know, Lila kind of hugs him and, like, you know, they have a little bonding moment. And <laughs> Rudy then talks with Aisha. <laughs> Aisha's like, I want to join you, but I don't want to. <laughs> you know uh, serve my brother and 
<laughs> now i'm sure that even in this moment she did not realize that or did she i don't know like <laughs> aisha gives me mixed signals like she, it's it seems as if she actually realized that rudy was rudy from the beginning you know like rudy was his brother but she was basically was she like you know kind of i don't know like playing along with this whole thing of making um like you know of deceiving rudy that yeah like she didn't know that she was he was his her brother or maybe did she, she realized that he was her brother when uh, rudy handed uh, her the plate either of it i think either of it you know like maybe when he handed her the plate she was able to realize that oh so this is my brother you know because i think rudy said something like uh you know justified the whole <laughs> I love how Rudy justified the whole, you know, uh, holy relic. You know, he was like, you know, Aisha, like you know, you should pro, like you know, like when you are far apart from each other, it's nice to have something of the other person. Probably a brother also felt it was something like that. That's why he had the holy relic. <laughs> the thing that Rudy says here is obviously true. You know, like if you keep something of someone, some some possession of your loved one with you yourself you know it kind of is nice in a way you know it gives you inner strength and stuff <laughs> but that doesn't justify the whole relic <laughs> that doesn't justify that but you know what yeah this is rudy we're talking about so i guess <laughs> but anyways um so yeah like i wonder if that's when she realized that oh this is probably my, my big brother either that or she realized it from the beginning you know and she was just playing you know along rudy rudy's misconception and it wouldn't actually surprise me if that was the case because one thing i can see is that she is pretty what can i say um uh, what can i say mischievous in a way you can say cunningly mischievous and you know like <laughs> and yeah it wouldn't actually surprise me if she realized this from the beginning so who knows but yeah it's kind of <laughs> like you know like i i really got surprised when she suddenly said that goodbye big brother and i was like damn this girl knew from the beginning <laughs> or got to know us <laughs> oh my god so yeah it's nice you know it's nice to see that she actually knows that rudy is his brother like what can i say like uh yeah like at least you know like one of his younger sister is known is traumatized about him because she saw him beating up his dad her dad so at least one of the sisters are actually you know like what can i say actually what do you call it appreciates <laughs> rudy in this way so it's nice you know so yeah that was it so i wonder what's going to happen in the next episode like are we going to go to search for sylphiette or are we going to go to search for uh, zenith who knows we'll see but yeah oh and the thing in the end uh, where is it here it is um what happened to parts now in the ending scene <clears throat> they say that Pax and where is it Pax and Zenova were held responsible for what happened why Zenova like Pax I can understand but and exiled from the kingdom on the pretext of studying abroad oh why Zenova like I guess she kind of uh, I think that the reason why he also got exiled was because he tried to kill son uh, Pax is that the reason I think it is most probably so yeah like he was almost trying uh, almost going to kill him I think that's probably the reason why he also got exiled otherwise it doesn't make sense so yeah like i'm i'm happy about like pugs being exiled but zanova i don't know 
uh, we'll see you know <laughs> so yeah that was it that was this episode wow a great episode this was really entertaining i loved the whole um <laughs> bonding moment of Pax, uh, not Pax, sorry, Zanova and um, Rudy. They were like, you know, talking about their hobbies so enthusiastically. <laughs> Rudy found, finally found a fellow comrade, you know, in, in, in this isekai world. And <laughs> if they meet in the future, I'm sure they're going to have more conversation about figurines and yeah, it'll be It'll be something that I'm going to look forward to. But th th but there's one thing that actually scares me is Zanova's, like, what do you call it? Very much whimsical personality. That's kind of scary, you know? Like, whimsical personality is okay, but if the person who has this whimsical personality is as strong as Zanova, it's kind of scary because who knows? Suddenly he might come and break your neck. You know, like if... <laughs> I don't know, if something crosses him, you might suddenly go and break the other person's neck. Like, that's scary. You know, like, whimsical is okay, but whimsical with that strength, that's kind of dangerous. So, I'm kind of, you know, looking forward to the future when we probably get to meet him again and Rudy again makes him kind of have has a little conversation with uh, their interests, their hobbies, you know, about figurines and all that stuff. But it also scares me that he you know like he's whimsical and he might do something which is pretty dangerous but we'll see and yeah he like for now he it, it does seem like he respects rudy very much because obviously he's he's like the the manifestation of the pers uh, like you know of the god <laughs> for zanova at least you know like he's the person who made the figurines and he's so impressed with him he's like yeah you're my master <laughs> so wow yeah that was that was great wow i i was not expecting this episode to be something like this i I was thinking this would be something very what can i say like you know frustrating and everything like you know we're, we're going to see rudy being captured like this and you know they're going to try to get rudy out of this situation and it's going to be frustratingly um slow and you know i, I was thinking something like that would happen and uh, like i thought that i would get pretty annoyed with this episode because we are going to see pax as well pax is going to annoy me to hell you know and i i thought that they're going to like you know like kind of drag this and you know like it'll be frustratingly um slow i thought something like that was going to happen but damn this was surprising they handled this in a pretty amazing way like suddenly introducing zanoba and the whole thing that happened and how easy it was to actually get out of this mess this situation it was fantastic like good job like i'm I'm really impressed with this episode i love this so yeah that was it so that was my reaction to mushku tensei season 2 episode number 9 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah, that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Mushiku Tensei. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.